the first step to throwing on the potter's wheel is preparing your clay. The only tools that you'll need to prepare your clay are a wire tool to cut the clay and a firm surface to wedge on. So we're going to use the wire tool to cut the clay off of the bag of prepared clay. So we can cut a hunk off that way. Then we can slice it in half again. And then slice it into quarters to get an appropriate amount of clay to wedge and start throwing. The reason that we wedge our clay first is to get air bubbles out, if there's any possible air bubbles in the clay. It's also to equalize the moisture level. If our bag of clay has been sitting around for a while, the outside of the clay might start to dry out and the inside of the clay might still be moist. And it's, we want to equalize that moisture level before we start throwing it. So we're going to um, wedge the clay to work out any potential air bubbles, equalize that moisture level, and we're also going to start to line the clay particles up. Clay particles are shaped something like a frisbee, if you can imagine a bunch of discs. Coming right out of the bag, those particles might be all different directions. As we wedge it, we're going to start to line those frisbee particles up, and that's going to make the clay easier to work with on the wheel and also prevent cracking down the road. So we're gonna take our first uh, ball of clay here. And when we're wedging it, um, we're gonna wedge on a surface that is firm, can take some pressure. And also we're gonna, today we're wedging on a piece of hardboard that's not gonna take a lot of moisture out of our clay because this clay is about the moisture level that we want it. If your clay is too wet and you want to firm it up, you can wedge on plast and a plaster surface. And in our studio, we have a plaster surface and hardboard surfaces. So today we're just using a firm hardboard surface. The wedging process itself is um, rotating the clay around. And there's several different methods of doing this. And people kind of develop their own style over time, depending on their hands and style um, and what works best for them. The general idea is I'm going to be dragging the clay forward along the table surface by putting pressure down and forward, and then I'm going to gently rock it back. What you don't want to do is you don't want to fold the clay over on itself and trap air bubbles. If you're using recycled clay, part of this motion is going to spiral the clay around and work air bubbles out. I'm working with clay fresh from our manufacturer and I'm confident there's not um, air bubbles in it. So I'm not too worried about air bubbles at this particular point. Um, I'm mostly trying to equalize the moisture level and get it in a good condition, get the particles lined up and ready for throwing. So what I'm doing in slow motion is, first of all, you'll notice I'm putting pressure from the outside, so I'm pushing in. If I were just to put pressure like this, I would end up with a long coil. And I don't want to make a coil today, I want to end up with a ball shape to throw. So I'm putting equal pressure from the outside edges, and then I'm pressing, I'm pressing my clay forward and down, and it's dragging the surface right along the table there, and then I'm rocking it back without folding it over on itself, because I don't want to trap any air bubbles. So it's a whole, it's a lot of short motions over and over again fast. So I generally start out front and then I, I push and drag along the table and roll very, very gently. And what you'll start to see is, you'll start to see this kind of a spiral action on the end if you look. So if you're, that's one indication that you're doing it right. You can peek at the end and see if there's a, some spiral action going on. And what's happening if there were air bubbles, it would gradually be working those air bubbles toward the outside. This clay doesn't need a lot of wedging because it's fresh from the manufacturer and it's a good moisture level. So I can finish it off by patting it into a circle. So this is about what I want to show you how to throw today. Um, a good softball size clay is what we're going to be throwing and it is now prepped and ready to go.